Let's just face it, with the current state of Switch Online and what with the Joy-Cons being effectively controllers for toddlers, the Switch isn't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when one thinks of multiplayer. Playing on your PS4 or on your Xbox with your friends, that probably sounds like a better idea, right? But against all odds, the Switch is actually an awesome system to play multiplayer games on. Definitely the system that I play the most multiplayer games. In fact, I haven't even touched my PS4 in quite a while. My Steam account is probably covered in cobwebs. With that in mind, here are five awesome multiplayer Switch games. Now, right off the top, None of these games are exclusive to the Switch. These are all third-party titles, and the majority of them have been on other platforms for a very long time, and can be had for even cheaper than what they're offered on the eShop. But there's something about the portability of the Switch and the fact that it's just ready to go right there. You just hand this over to a friend and you guys are ready to play wherever you are. Makes it a pretty awesome platform for multiplayer titles. And I'm also not trying to push this as some sort of objective, scientific, be-all, end-all multiplayer uh, Switch game list because obviously this is my list. This is my opinion. Some These are just the games that I've been playing a lot of right now. If your favorite multiplayer game isn't on this list, by all means, let us know in the comments. I'm always down for more multiplayer games and while we're on the subject make sure to check out my discord server it's going to be linked down in the description we're sharing that server between this channel and my brazilian channel so right now there's only one english channel but i'm having a blast talking to people there we're going to be scheduling games using this so make sure to check that out so first off stardew valley now stardew valley is the kind of game that i went out of my way to avoid my entire life. These kinds of life slash farm simulators are nothing new. They've been around for a long time in many platforms, but I was never drawn to this kind of game because I'm kind of a casual gamer. My fav like my, my favorite games, my, my favorite gaming experiences are usually hop in, play a couple of quick matches and move on with my day. I have a hard time becoming that engaged in a story and wanting to see it all the way through and explore everything that that virtual world offers me. So a game where I'm supposed to be tending farms, which again, and that's the other thing too, these games usually, you're just doing a bunch of chores, a bunch of virtual chores. Now when I do chores in real life, I end up with uh, folded laundry or clean dishes. Doing chores in a video game always seemed a little weird to me. I'm often trying to escape doing chores when I'm gaming. But ever since the first time I laid eyes on Stardew Valley, I was in uh, Tara Babcock's stream, in fact. She's a, a YouTuber here, fellow content creator, and she was streaming the game. And one thing about Tara Babcock, she always has a lot of really awesome music playing. I always, when I hop on her streams, I always end up with like a bunch of uh, new bands to check out. It's pretty cool. So go check her out. I'm going to leave her a link in the description. If I forget, which I often do remind me <laughs> but yeah I jumped in her stream I saw her playing the game and something about it clicked maybe it's the 16-bit aesthetic that you know me being a child of the 90s playing with uh, my Super Nintendo growing up that kind of uh, style really catches my eye and um, I've I've been able to play the game for a very long time because it's on PC and it's on all platforms in fact but it wasn't until it landed on the switch that I decided to really give it a try. And right now, my farm, I have some almost 50 hours into it. And I know it doesn't sound like much to most people, but for an ADHD riddled guy like me, to put even more than like 20 hours into a game, that means I loved it quite a bit. In fact, Stardew Valley right now is my, my longest playing game on my Nintendo Switch. The multiplayer update dropped recently and I've been playing it with my girlfriend and having a blast. It's, there's something about being able to do those stories and run around and the, the world of Stardew Valley is effectively an open world in that you can choose to do whatever you want. The game is pretty aimless in that it doesn't really force you to do this or that. You can kind of do whatever you want. It's a big sandbox. You can do missions, you can woo the NPCs, you can go into the mines and fight monsters, you can uh, grow and raise crops, you can uh, buy animals, you can upgrade your farm, you can do fish. There's just so much that you can do and it's just so awesome to be able to do that with somebody else running around in that little town with you. I just absolutely love it. I And I love that whatever somebody does when they hop into your farm during multiplayer, whatever they do actually stays in your game for better or for worse. So if you just want some help with some chores, if you want to plant a field or if you want to build something, if you want to do anything at all, 
Just ask for a friend to join you and help you and that progress stays when you log out. I just love that structure of gameplay and I can see myself coming back to it again and again and again. So for that reason, Stardew Valley is an awesome title in my opinion for multiplayer on the Switch. Sadly, there's no couch co-op multiplayer which would have been awesome but I understand. So for you to play uh, Stardew Valley multiplayer, you can either play online or locally if both players each have their own Switch. Another Switch game that I love playing multiplayer and has in fact become a family tradition already is Towerfall. I've had Towerfall on my PS4 for a very long time and I play uh, at parties when people are kind of like winding down and they want something else to do and it's a great game don't get me wrong it's made by the same people who made Celeste which is just a phenomenal game but it never really truly clicked with me it wasn't until I came out on the switch and I took my switch to my dad's house to play with my younger siblings that it just like I said it became a family tradition I can't go to my dad's house and not play a couple of rounds of Towerfall with my siblings it's hard to describe the game it's basically a free-for-all although there are team modes as well where all these little pixelated characters fight each other using arrows the arrows are limited so after you fire them you have to go get them to be able to fire them again and you can actually steal the opponent's arrows to then fire them against them there is quite the variety when it comes to level design there's a whole bunch of different power-ups to spice up gameplay it's just an awesome little game it's a simple game as you can clearly see but it's oh so much fun and my siblings they are on the younger side I have two half brothers from my dad's second marriage a 10 and a five-year-old and lately there's I, I just there's so much joy in going to my dad's house knocking on the door and my brothers see me and they see my my switch and they start freaking out and they start yelling towerfall let's play towerfall come on come on come on no come on oh yeah oh By the way, this video is not sponsored by any of these games. I'm just saying it's a really, really fun game. That being said, to play Towerfall, in most of these games, in fact, I use these controllers right here. These are 8-bit dos. They're very, very good. I'm sure you've seen them on a lot of different videos because most people only have nice things to say about these controllers, and they are great for Towerfall. I actually reviewed this SN30 Pro recently on my channel. I'm going to leave the link in the description as well. If you want to check these out, there's going to be links on the description. If you buy these through my links, that supports the channel. So thank you very much. They are real good controllers. Like you can ask around. It's not just me saying this because I want your commission. These are awesome controllers. Diablo. Now, I was a massive, massive Diablo 1 fan way back in the day. It was the first game I played online and I would stay up all night playing with my buddies over dial-up. This is like, it's kind of why I'm a gamer today. Those early experiences of playing multiplayer, that kind of made me the person that I am today. And I don't have to tell you what Diablo is. Diablo is a classic hack and slashy action RPG that's again, like all of these other games, has been available on other platforms for a very long time. But again, there's something about being able to play this portably wherever you go. You can just take out your Joy-Con, give it to somebody, and the two of you can be playing Diablo together anywhere you go that is as a massive fan of portability the switch and these games being available on the switch is kind of a dream come true right now i'm playing diablo over the internet with a buddy of mine who lives in the next town over and it's become kind of like this bonding experience where uh at around like 10 or 11 at night we both log on we call each other on facebook messenger and are just chatting and killing demons in diablo talking about the game talking about life again it's become this kind of a bonding moment with me and this buddy of mine so i can't recommend diablo enough and i think it's still at a deal right now I think it was 40 bucks right now. I picked it up for full price and I was okay with doing that because I didn't play Diablo 3 when it first came out. So it didn't feel like, you know, a rip off. If you've played Diablo before, paying full price might not be as attractive an idea. Then we have Ultimate Chicken Horse. Ultimate Chicken Horse is the kind of silly game that at face value, I would never see myself spending money on. But after playing just one round, I was in love with with this game. I love this game so much. Basically, it's kind of hard to explain Ultimate Chicken Horse. You have these levels and you have point A and point B and the objective is to get from point A to point B. Now, the kicker is every player gets a turn to place either an object that'll help you get to point B or an obstacle that'll kill you before you get there. Every round, people take turns putting these objects and you have to race from point A to point B. So if all the players get a bunch of items that just make it easy for you to get there, it's kind of a race. But if people are jerks and put a bunch of obstacles, a bunch of perils in the way, then it becomes this insanely funny obstacle course as you're trying to like get to the it's it's such a fun game it's one of my my favorite party games of all time my halloween party 
We had Mario Party, we had Ultimate Chicken Horse, and we played Ultimate Chicken Horse way more than we played Mario Party. People couldn't get enough of it. It's just a, it's just such a fun and funny game. It's so funny. I was at my mom's house. As you guys know, I'm recovering from shoulder surgery, so for the first week, I couldn't even put my own shirts on. I couldn't even have a shower by myself. So I was living with my mom for that first week, and uh, eventually, when I could move my hand enough that I could hold the Joy-Con, I was playing with my brother over the internet. And my mom is sitting by the couch, just watching the game and laughing hysterically. I couldn't, at first, I didn't even, I wasn't even sure she could understand the game, what was going on, because she is older, but she was just laughing so much. So it's a fun game for you to even just watch somebody playing. I cannot recommend this game enough. The only downside I see in Ultimate Chicken Horse is that, I think more so than the other games here, the game gets really hectic, and playing in tabletop mode, with uh, you know two or more players holding the Joy-Cons and having this propped up on a table, it becomes a little hard to see what's going on because the elements are pretty small on the screen. So you find yourself squinting at it. You kind of have to lean in close to to see what's going on because the game is it gets complicated. The more items you put all over the map, it becomes like you have to kind of navigate very carefully. It becomes very pixel perfect. The jumps that you're trying to accomplish. So it's a game that doesn't work as well in tabletop mode. Out of all the other games I'm recommending here, this is the one that I would say. You're probably gonna have more fun playing this on a TV. And this is coming from the guy who loves portables. And finally, of course, 99 Vitas. Now, I'm sure by now you're sick of me talking about 99 Vitas, but here's another sales pitch. 99 Vitas is a 16-bit style beat-em-up that's inspired in my gaming podcast of the same name. Now, I would recommend the podcast here, but it is in Portuguese, as I'm sure you know, I'm from Brazil, and I create a lot of content in Portuguese, and this podcast is one of them, so unfortunately you can't listen to it, but you can play the game, and you can play as me. You can kick ass as me. Obviously, I'm biased, but I think this game turned out really, really well. People seem to like it quite a bit. I love playing it on the Switch. It's by far my favorite way to play the game. I love that I can just take this anywhere and detach the Joy-Cons, give it to somebody, and we can just enjoy a, a, a classic old-school style beat-em-up right then and there with my face on it! My face and voice! I did the voice acting for the game and everything. There's online mode, there's like I said tabletop mode, portable mode, you can just enjoy this however you want. There's a lot of different levels, there's a lot of different characters, there's characters you unlock. It's just a really fun multiplayer game that I think you will enjoy. But those are my five favorite multiplayer games on the Nintendo Switch. With the exception of Towerfall, all of these can be played over the internet, which is pretty cool. Even though you don't get that with Towerfall, you do get the six player mode, which is exclusive to the Switch. Like on the PS4, you can only play four players. So there's that. But what about you? What are your favorite games on the Nintendo Switch? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. This helps so, so much. Follow me on social media. I try to be very active over there, both Instagram and Twitter. Check out my Discord server. And I'm always very curious to know where you guys are watching these videos from. So let me know in the comments down below. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.